So this example is to show how to create a dot plot. In fact, in this one, we're going to create two dot plots, one right above the other. In order to compare them, we actually want to have the exact same scaling on both number lines. So we have heights of women and heights of men. We notice the women start at 62 and the men end at 73. So we need to make sure our scale will accommodate both of those on each number line. So maybe we'll start number line at, let's say, 60. Then this would be 61 and this would be 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, and then there's no place for 74, but we know that's what that is. We'll do the exact same thing on the other number line. Always make sure you have a scale on both number lines so everybody, as nobody assumes what the numbers are and can tell what they are represent. Alright, so now um, we do have men and women, so we do want to call which number line is which. We let's go ahead and type the top line to be men and the bottom number line to be women. Since these are graphs, they do need to have a title. This is height of men versus women. And you should also label your axes. This is height in inches. Now, to create a, um, a dot plot, all you do is go along each number and find out where it belongs on the number line. So the first number for men is 67. 67 is here. So right above the mark for 67, we're going to just put a little dot. Um, they, how far up you put it is not important, just put it somewhat a little bit above your scale. 73 is the next number, so we come over here to where 73 is, come up the exact same height as that first dot, and put the dot for 73. 71, we'll come over to where 71 is, and again, at the same height as the other two dots, put a dot. Now we notice there's another 71. To represent this, we're going to go above that 71 a certain distance, doesn't have to be real far, and put a second dot. Then above 72, the next number put a dot. Then we notice there's another 71. So now come above the 71 and put a third dot, about the same distance as you put the second dot above. Then we notice we have a 70. Put that as the level as the first level of dots. Then we notice we have a 69. Um, another 72. So make sure that dot lines up with the dot for the 71, the second dot for the 71. We have another 72, so that dot should line up with the third dot for 71. And then we have another 71, so put that dot up above. Now that we have the men's done, we'll go do the exact same thing for the women's. Notice the first number is the 62, so we'll put a dot. Um, 64 is the next one, so again, it's the same height. Then there's another 64. Then there's a 68. Um, 65, another 65, 63, 62, another 63, another 64, and a fourth 64. The nice thing about having the same scaling is you can now compare them. You can see the majority of women's heights are much less than the men's. The majority of men's heights are much bigger than the women's. Not a surprise there. But you do notice that there's a little bit of overlap. So there's one woman who's taller than the shortest man. Um, so that gives you some comparisons you can do. With more data, you can see a little bit more interesting things happening. And that is a dot plot.